saving and loading flows, you can obviously go to the file menu and say uh, you want to save a flow as a max script, that's the max script format, and you can type in a name and this flow will be saved, and you can use the uh, file load, and this will replace the flow, and this will uh, merge, so you can have one flow and add another flow to it, and they'll coexist. But um, once you have created flows, they actually appear in the Explorer, and I suggest that you use that. Um, the interesting thing is that, as I mentioned, we are saving to a max script format, and uh, we uh, use the undo and redo functions also saving a file and load in it whenever you press those buttons, so everything is using the same system, and we also have an option to import um, the old style, uh, the old magma flows, the KMF files. I can uh, double click here, say I don't want to save this flow, and I actually imported some, something that was creating clouds back then in the version 1.6 of uh, crypto. You can also use the import magma uh, and select the file, and obviously this allows you to navigate anywhere on the system, but uh, the explorer shows you only the folder where the flows are being stored, and uh, the subfolders are also being shown, one level of subfolders, so I can go to those and pick any of the um, saved presets quickly without having to navigate to the file menu. Um, another thing that um, I already mentioned that you should be using this, and if you want to load some flow, um, you can switch the corresponding mode, and you can go and say, I want to load the other type of uh, cloud that I have here, and this is importing and converting them, or I can switch to version 2 and load any of these flows. They are relatively crazy, and right now they won't do anything, but they are, the good news is that they are undoable, so if you do this, you can go back to the undo buffer and actually re-perform all the previous operations, even go back to the flow before I started loading flows. So if you're using uh, the file loading or the uh, preset explorer, you're not going to lose your work if you load something by accident. Um, you can uh, enter notes for your flows. If you select uh, edit current flow notes, you can type in any comments here, and when you save the flow, they will be saved with the file. And then when you, the file appears on the list, if you pick one that actually has nodes, like this guy, um, then you're going to see them here, but you can't really edit them because that's not the active flow. You have to be in the edit current flow nodes, and that applies to the flow that you're currently working on. When you're copying and pasting nodes, it's kind of neat because, uh, for example, I can um, open the genome here, and I have a bunch of uh, nodes that you'll recognize as the uh, push modifier that we developed uh, earlier. If I change this, this is going to push the geometry. But the interesting thing is that if I control A in genome and press control C and come here and say control A, delete, so remove everything and then control V, I actually pasted the push that works exactly like the genome one. So if I come here and change this number, I'm going to get exactly the same results, but I'm pushing but, uh, particles instead of vertices. So you can copy and paste, for example, this node within the same flow. You can copy it into uh, another magma editor, portions of the flow or single nodes or the whole flow if you want, and you can even uh, copy it between two modifiers of completely different types, in this case genome and Krektoa, because in this case the flow actually makes sense in both. Some operations in genome might not make sense in Krektoa, but you can still steal uh, fractions of the flow and things that make sense. You can also paste and preserve wires. If I copy this node and then press Control alt and v the node that is being pasted preserves its input sockets. So I can create a bunch of ads that already have all the connections that I had as inputs here, and that uh, simplifies it if you want to duplicate this three times and output as a vector, uh, something that was floats, but you just want to change slightly the logic and all the inputs should remain the same. I'll delete this. Uh, as mentioned, undo and redo, uh, working based on files, so I can right-click here and see every operation since I started this modifier, uh, and I can go back to any point in time and um, just select from the list and navigate, uh, and I'm back to my flow that I was working on with the array intersection before. 
Um, so nothing really gets uh, lost while working and they are all on disk and um, until you close the editor they will be kept on disk. Once you close it they get uh, purged so uh, the folder will not grow too big.